This message is for my beautiful cancers. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. So we have courtship. The first card out. Someone sees you as someone that, you know, this is someone that wants to be in a relationship with you. Okay. This person could be keeping it a secret, but this somebody, this is somebody that only has eyes for you. Okay. This is somebody that sees themselves with you. Sun and wealth under the bottom is giving me 10 of pentacles. Okay. Yeah. This person sees themselves having, you know, living a, a happy life with you, creating generational wealth. You know, you guys growing together, you know, having this beautiful home, just everything. This person sees, this person, this is somebody that only has eyes for you, Spirit is saying, a journey. This is somebody that's, this is somebody that can reminisce a lot and find themselves, you know, just, this person could be in their head when it comes to you guys. This is somebody that just imagine all the time how life will be, you know, being in this relationship with you. This is what this person want. And Journey came back out. You see me go back and forth and show. Yeah. There's somebody that wants to go on a journey with you. I feel like your person had to complete out a lot of cycles that just didn't serve them anymore. Somebody is, I'm hearing somebody is getting they, getting their things ready to come into this union with you. This person can be closing out a lot of karmic cycles before they have this relationship with you. Yeah, occupation. This, focus, this person could spend a lot of time at work, you know, focusing on, you know, work as well to distract them, okay? From distract them from thinking about This person thinks about you all the time. This is somebody that wants to have a reunion with you. I heard reunion, so this could be somebody you already knew before. But I don't see new love out here yet. Yeah, the gift. This person could be definitely um, working to bring you some type of gift, some type of proposal. But this person is working. This person is working. And this person was to bring you a gift, Sunsees. They are. This person knows that they want this relationship with you. Privileged lady under the bottom. Wow. Privileged lady, sudden wealth. I'm hearing this. It's you for them. I'm hearing this you for them. Wow. I'm hearing it's always been you. Judication and unexpected income. I feel like you guys are very blessed. Okay. Whoever this main male is, um, they could definitely be a concern. Okay. Um, with this high honor as well, which is my ancestry card, your ancestors could have definitely gave this person some type of download. Maybe this person prayed um, for confirmation when it came to you, and your ancestors said, yeah. <laughs> your ancestors said, yeah. You the one. Yeah, they in despair. This person in despair. <sighs> this person sees you as someone very gifted, very talented. This person knows that you don't need them, okay? This person feels like they took advantage of you when, when you was at a time where you wanted this person. This person is know that when it comes to finances and taking care of business, um, you are all you are all for that. You can handle that. This is just somebody that you just wanted in your life, okay? And it makes this person sad because this person mistreated, you know, this connection when it came to you. Somebody knows that you don't need them. This is somebody that wants to work hard, Okay, to prove something. Oh, wow. I heard prove something to you. Yeah. We have thoughts of the fishy person. This person sees you as the fishy person. I feel like this person wants to come in and help you in some type of way. They could have been stuck to a karmic, okay, that was stealing from them. That was trying to stress them out, make them depressed, make them worry. With it, you know, um, second guess the decision of coming towards you. But for somebody, um, somebody is definitely growing up. I feel like whoever this person they growing up, like this person getting real wise. 
And somebody sees himself going on this pathway with you, this beautiful transformation. Somebody sees a lot of growth will be in with you. Whoever this karmic is could have had this person stagnated, you know, um, second guessing everything. This person couldn't even, this person wasn't even, they couldn't, the person wasn't functional dealing with this karma. They was all over the place. Yeah. This karma had them in poverty. Or it could have been just a poverty mindset. But with you, it's like you you motivated this person. You guys could be into spirituality <clears throat> or you could just be religious. You know, it doesn't matter. But I feel like you gave this person a lot of hope. Even if that was just hope as a muscle seed, you did something for this person. You could have known this person was um, surrounded by a lot of rats. Oh, thank you, Spirit. This person, this person who's now... <clears throat> You know that um, your person who now that um, is looking at things from a higher perspective, they seeing the rats around them. Somebody ancestors is nudging them to do the right thing when it comes to you. Message concern, wealthy man, distant horizon, concern. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, sunseeds. Yeah, somebody could have been making because I wasn't even coughing. I don't know why I'm coughing on this video, but somebody could have been trying to make somebody sick. To keep them stuck with this distant horizon so they won't travel towards the coming towards you. Because we see privileged lady and wealthy man with distant horizon. Somebody was trying to keep somebody stuck in a situation. Could have been for, you know, because they was, um, for some of you guys, they could have been married to this person and had a child with this person. But something is coming to an end. That is over with. That is over with. Somebody is realizing who is the, who's this, who they chose to have a family with or who's the family that they was born into. The, the truth is being revealed to this person. Yeah, something is changing. Something in imprisonment and ch changing imprisonment is something that I feel like is changing in this person's mind. And I feel like you have done that. Okay? When this person abort, um, um, abort the mission when it came to this you guys connection, you guys still kept going on. It wasn't easy, but you guys still kept pushing. Great fortune and lovers. This, this is how this person sees you. Great fortune and lovers. Somebody sees that if I'm with, when I'm with Mrs. Sunflower Collective Sunsteeds, I can build. I get faith. I feel ambitious. <coughs> Excuse me, Sunsteeds. I don't know what's going on, but your person can have a cold. You can have a cold. But I would just find before this video. Okay? Message. Yeah. Wow. Message and force person. Mm 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 mm. Somebody knows that a cycle is being is, is over, it's being completed. And whoever this false person is with the toy and labor could be making this person feel like they got to work hard, okay? Making them, you know, feel like they got to be in this poverty mindset. They could be feeding this person something, you know what, to make this person sick. Hmm. Let me call an adjudication, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Mature woman. This is how this person sees you. This person sees you as the mature woman. With the main female and distant horizon, this person is trying to get away from whoever this person, um, whoever this karmic was they was in connection with. Yeah. yeah. Wealthy man and lovers imprisonment. But I feel like this person wanted to keep this person stuck. But with the thoughts card being here in the family room, somebody is seeing things differently now. Somebody is seeing like, mm -mm, no, this is not what it is. Somebody is definitely in deep thought. They see what it is. They see what this person was trying to do to them. Let's get some messages from your person. This is the um, unspoken love messages, the Serendipity Tarot. So if you wanna um, look at the purchase her deck, it's a, um, the Serendipity Tarot, the Serendipity Tarot, okay? Well, let's get some messages. Let's get, um, let's see how your person feel at this point time. Holy Spirit, give me some messages from my collective succeed person. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. I feel like this person was holding back. This is how this person feels, but they're holding back. Somebody holds back how they feel because somebody just sees you. Um, you know, you guys could be definitely doing very well for yourself. Somebody feels like, would you even want me back? Would you even accept me back? They said, I missed out on something good. The next person you allow into your life is lucky. So for a lot of you guys, this person feels like, 
you guys have moved on to a, you know another connection. You guys have moved on with your life. You guys are working on um, something else. This person said, I missed out on something good. The next person you allow into your life is lucky. They said, I fear that you will never look at me the same. It's hard for me to look at myself in the mirror. It's hard for this person because this person realized whoever they was attached to, um, this person could have been, um, when you met this person, this person could have been um, in a difficult situation where they was, um, they could have been married or in separation or just getting out of a relationship. This person never met someone like you. It's something about your energy. It's something about your energy that this person is drawn to. This person fears that you don't see them the same. This person uh, made you a lot of unbroken um, promises that they didn't fulfill. Someone wants to make things right. They want to go on this journey. There's somebody who only has eyes for you. They want to move forward with you, but they feel like you don't look at them the same. They said, I hope you allow me to step up and turn and turn this around. I can't make it up. This person is working on something behind the scenes. Okay. They're working on something. And it has something to do with their wealth. Whoever this karmic is, they could be digging this person at work to change their poverty situation. But actually, this person is working on something to move forward with their life. They're not working on nothing to help um, get them in this karmic out of poverty. They're actually working on something to move forward with their life and come towards you. They said, I hope you allow me to step up and turn this around. All those secrets, I kept caught up with me. Each and every last one of them. Yeah. All these secrets, everything was it was exposed to you. This person tried to hide so many secrets. They didn't want you to know. But they were exposed. That's why this person feels like you don't see them the same. A lot of you guys, this person could have shocked you. You could have never looked at this person to be in such a way. But I feel like, um, you know, some of you guys... You might not want to hear this, but with this adjudication has always been my spiritual card, my spiritual court. For a lot of you guys, it wasn't this person. It was the spirit that was on this person. And I feel like the spirit that was on this person was that they were attached to a karmic, okay? The karmic don't do nothing but come kill, lie, and destroy. And still, you know, and this person um, was attached to um, the karmic. So it, it was a negative experience. Um, I heard ne negative experience. So this person had a very negative experience with this karmic. And they could have um, actually took that out on you. They could have projected that energy towards you. You could have known you came to this person in a purest, highest white light. But when this person was around you, it was something about your light could have irritated them. The, I'm sorry, irritated the spirit on them, which was the spirit that was connected to the karmic who they was attached to. Thank you, spirit. They said I made so many bad mistakes. I hope we can I hope we can yeah, I hope we can do a do-over. This person is working hard to change something. Okay? This karmic may be thinking, oh, this person is trying to get us out of poverty. You know, things are gonna change. No, this person is working on getting their finances right, getting their mind, body, and soul right, getting healed. Because I was not coughing before this video. Something is yeah, something is not right with this person. After dealing with this karma, this person is working on themselves to get up out of this situation. This person is saying, I miss you more now that we are apart. I still feel your presence, your energy around me. I told you, Sunsi, it's something about your energy. It's something about your energy that did it for this person. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? This person is realizing that this person could have never looked at things um, the way how they look at it now. But again, like I told you, my adjudication has always been my spiritual court. This person is looking at something more on the, on the spiritual level, okay? This person is realizing the energies that surround them. And, and th I feel like this person was never like that. This person is now um, seeing things from a higher perspective because of your energy. They seeing that now that you guys are apart, the energy don't feel the same. I feel down. I feel restless. I feel sick. I'm not eating well. And the things that I do eat is making me sick. I'm working very hard, but I'm not seeing the fruits of my labor. I'm still in poverty. Things are not picking up for me. Somebody could have stayed for children. Somebody is recognizing the, the energies that's around us. Somebody is seeing things on, on, on a more of a spiritual level instead of a 3D level. Somebody is recognizing who is who. Okay? 
that's why with the courtship, the first card out, this person only has eyes for you. This person knows exactly who you are to them. And they say that I miss you more that now that we are apart. I still feel your presence, your energy around me. It's something that your energy did in this person that awakened this person. This person seeing your life flourish. A lot of you guys have starting businesses or just getting businesses up and running. Someone is you could have spoken to this person about your goals and your and your ambitions, things that you want to do, and you have actually have done that within the separation. Someone is seeing you different. Someone sees you as the real deal. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some more messages for my collective sunsees person. This person is hoping that you allow them to step up and turn things around. This person wants to prove something to you. And I feel like with that gift, this person could be want to um, bring you. It's some type of gift that they want to bring you. Someone also is, thank you, Spirit. Someone is also saying that you were a gift, you know, just being in their life. This person hid a lot of secrets from you. I feel like this person didn't want you to know a part of their past or um, everything about the situation that they was dealing with. Because when you came to this person, it was like you being in this highest you know white light you being so pure also i'm hearing you was very innocent doesn't matter what age you are you have an innocence on you and this person was just like uh they felt like they couldn't be real with you somebody felt like you was going to judge them and you never would have judged this person but this person kept a lot of secrets from you and now their secrets getting caught they, it's catching up to them this person fear you know that you would never look at them the same they held a lot back. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. So this person is saying, I hope you will find forgiveness in your heart for me. This person is hoping that you will forgive them when they come back. Yeah, hurting you was not the plan. Hurting you was never the plan. It wasn't. It was not the plan. But whoever this karmic is, whoever they was tied to, um... They knew how this person felt. They knew that this person would also, with this sudden wealth and this unexpected income and this gift, this person knew that this person could live a Ten of Pentacles life with you. They knew that. So that's why they came in real quick to whip something up because they knew time was of the essence when it came to you, when it came to you guys. They know this is your spiritual partner. Whoever this karmic is, know this is your spiritual partner. They knew that. And they knew time wasn't in their favor. Time is definitely of the essence right now. And this person was was doing what whoever this karmic is did whatever they had to do to like get this person to stay in this um, you know, this I'm hearing low vibrational poverty mindset, this low vibrational lifestyle. I never truly moved on, even though I appear so. Oh wow. So your person is saying, I never moved on. I never moved on. Okay. This person is, has never moved on. This person wants to build something with you. I feel, I feel like this person feels alone. This person spent a lot of time alone. A lot. This person feels like nothing is growing in their life. This person, this person doesn't see when they would chew. This person could smile. They could, they could, they feel, they feel that sense of faith and hope, but they don't feel it where they at right now. Uh, for others of you guys, this person is not is, is, has no association with this karmic. They are that's because this person is has this person is seeing things from a higher perspective, like a new set of lens. Somebody is recognizing the energies. When I'm with Mr. Sunflower Collective Sunseeds, I feel like I could literally go on this journey, you know, uh, with this occupation. Anything that I put, you know, um, put in the work towards, it will grow. It, it I could, you know, it will it will bring me um, the results that I'm looking for. But when I was with the karmic, I never felt like this. So somebody is realizing the energies here. This person, this person still look at you as the same way as when they first met you. This person saying, I look at your pictures for hours on end. It's still so beautiful to me. This person looks at your pictures for hours. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Wait, sussies. It says, I look at your pictures for hours. Do it. That car fell all over there. We're not even going to get this up seats. But you see what it said? I look at your pictures for hours. You are still so beautiful to me. This person is literally 
hypnotized by your beauty, your energy, your purity, your innocence, the love. Mm. This person wants you. Yeah, deny you on forgiveness. This person wants your forgiveness. This is somebody that was could have been at one point was in denial about um, this connection, but I feel like a lot has um, a lot has happened in the time apart from you guys, and I feel like your person is definitely um, is growing up and being more honest with themselves when it comes to you. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages from my collective son. See, please and thank you. Yeah, imagination and failure. With this imagination and failure, what did I say earlier? I, I feel like this person spends a lot of time in their head just imagining how life will be. How life will be if we get married. How life will be if this relationship works. How life will be if, you know, we can have it all. Because love is the highest vibration. We can, we can make it happen. This is what this person constantly imagined. How life will be with you. But with the failure card, I feel like this person feels like a failure. This person feels like they ruined things. That's why this person wants a do over with you. Somebody wants something. To, somebody wants something to cheer freedom. They want something to change. Somebody is freeing themselves. And if a lot of you guys is from um, the things that this person um, been through in their life. This person, just like how you went through a lot, your person has went through a lot as well. But what I love about it is that your person is very aware of all the trauma and, and things that they have done to you. Somebody is very aware that you are a gift in their life. Growth. Growth. I love it because it's something about this person's mind is changing. This person is seeing things differently. They are. And they realize that you are their happiness. They know that. They know that. Happiness. Yeah, I can't make it up. Look at this, sussies. Happiness and abundance. This person loves you. This somebody that want when this somebody that wants something that lasts with you guys forever. When I say forever, I'm here forever, forever. I'm gonna use um, this deck that my beautiful subscriber sent me. Her name is Whitney, but her her deck is called Neon Awakening. Um, I'm definitely gonna make sure I put the link um, in the description box. Okay, I just love these cards. Okay, someone is definitely um, hurt. Feeling like you want you don't you don't you don't want them back. I, no no nobody nobody ever compared. To, um, nobody nobody don't even come close or to or compare to what you guys have shared. Somebody is somebody somebody loves the fact that they met you in their life. You don't even know what you did to this person. You have awakened this person to this love. And this is somebody that wants a forever, forever with you, some teeth. Courtship is giving me two of cups. Somebody only has eyes for you. Yes, eight of pentacles. I can't make it up. Eight of pentacles, okay? This is somebody that's only focused on you, okay? This is someone who wants to be devoted and dedicated when it comes to making this relationship work. That's why this person is saying, I want to do over. This person is working towards something. I feel like this person is working very hard towards um, giving you something. And we have the star card, Aquarius energy. This is how this person sees you. You guys could be in the spotlight or this person could just see you as someone who's, um, uh, you know, has this very healing energy about you. Okay? I feel like you renew something in this person. You renew something in this person. Maybe this person wasn't into spirituality before, but somebody is, is, is very get, is getting tapped in. They are. Yeah. Three of Swords. This person knows it under the bottom. This person knows that they hurt you, Sun Seeds. They know they hurt you. They know they betrayed you. They know they stabbed you in the back. And it, and it bothers this person because when they see you, it's just like, they see you in this glow of energy. And somebody like, damn. Damn. I, I You know, if I could just have one more chance, one more do-over. One more, one more time. Because this person wants y'all love to last a lifetime. That's why they say, I missed out on something so good. The next person you allow into your life is lucky. They know that because this person knows the energy. The energy that you bring to any connection. Any connection. 
This person hurt you, and now this person is sitting in the hurt, watching you. Watching how much you worked on yourself, how much you have had a glow up. This person is hurt. Hangman, the tower. Yeah. I feel like this person is now with the tower and the hangman. Um, this person is now ready to surrender. This person is ready now to sacrifice what, you know, what doesn't serve them anymore. What doesn't serve them anymore to have this, this type of union with you? Somebody knows that had this type of, you know, beautiful union with you. It has to be some type of sacrifices. And you have to, you know, whether it's a mindset, people, places, and things, somebody knows that. They have to let that go. I feel like somebody suppresses for so long. With the six of wands, somebody wants a victory and success with you. They do. But somebody know they made things very hard. Very hard. You know? Spirit, give me more messages. Yeah, judgment. This somebody wants a second chance. This somebody that's also awakened into this connection and what it means to them. This person wants a reunion. It's like this person had like a a shocking um sudden epiphany. We have the five of um five of cups in reverse. Hmm. I feel like this person is definitely coming out of um out of a period of life where they they you know they spend time with this three of swords you know crying over spell milk being sad there's somebody that's like you know what well maybe if i change maybe if i do this or you know maybe if i work on myself i could have i probably could have you know another chance with this person after you know um you know this breakup Five of Cups in reverse is somebody that's just like you know i'm, I'm coming out of this sadness i'm, I'm coming out of this heartbreak Yeah, Ten of Cups. I can't make it up. This is how this person sees you. This person sees you as someone they can have a marriage with, a happy family with. You know, the I'm hearing a fairy tale ending, a home. You know, a, a relationship that's going to last. For a lot of you guys, um, Spirit is saying as well, you guys was in this Five of Cups. It was one point in time when you was hurt and you were sad. But um, for a lot of you guys... You, de you decided to work on something that was going to be beneficial towards you in the long run. This person seen that. Yeah, we have the Three of Cups. There's somebody that wants to reconcile with you. Okay, they do. Give me a card on the Five of Cups in reverse, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Five of Cups is clarified with the Knight of Cups. There's somebody that wants to um, bring you some type of proposal. Somebody sees you as they true love. Somebody also sees you as trustworthy. Okay? This person sees you as their lover. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay? Um, I feel like this person was definitely slow in the past to bring you this offer. It's because of all the things that this person was dealing with. They were just slow moving. But, but we see the growth card. Somebody had to grow the hell up. Somebody had to grow the hell up. Somebody definitely observed you for a while. Somebody studied you. This person was in this teenage-like energy. Okay, a lot of you guys wanted more. You felt like this person just wasn't growing. Yeah. Spirit, what's the Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Cups? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, four walls. I can't make it up. <coughs> this person... Um, wants everything with you. This could be a twin flame, but this person wants a partnership with you. They want the wedding. They want the stability. They want the happy life with you. I love it. Spirit, give me a card on the three and four. <coughs> Excuse me. Three of swords clarified with the three of pentacles. This person just feel like they're being guided um, to come towards you. This person sees themselves working, work, working, um, working with you with the three of swords and the three of pentacles. This is somebody that's receiving some type of um, guidance from whether it's the ancestors or the spirit guides. Because some your person went through some type of awakening, some type of ascension. It's clear to me. Okay, um, 
This person sees themselves, you know, what they say teamwork make the dream work. This person sees themselves working with you. This, this person spends a lot of time in their mind and imagining. This person is determined to have you back. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We had the moon card and the king of cups. What did I say? This person spends a lot of time in their mind. I can't make it up. The moon and the king of cups. <coughs> Excuse me, son, Steve. I'm about to have you out with this reading because I don't know what. I was not coughing, okay? Somebody is, um, whatever they doing, they need to stop because I'm going to still get the messages out. Period. Anyway, with the moon and the king of cups, this is somebody that has a lot of emotions for you. This is somebody that's in love with you, okay? This is somebody that sees themselves being faithful towards you, devoted towards you, you know, being passionate. You guys being some type of, um, being some type of leader in each other's lives, guiding each other, working together. This person spends a lot of time in their mind with the moon card, okay? Yeah, King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles is somebody that sees themselves growing, having a successful long-term connection with you. This person finds you very beautiful, very attractive. This person is, loves everything about you. Give me a card of the moon, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Give me a card of the moon, Holy Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> King of Cups of the Moon. I said, Spirit, give me a card on the moon. The Queen of Cups. I'm telling you, son, see, this person spends a lot of time in their head in love. This person is in love with you. This person sees themselves, so you being a leader in their life, they being a leader in your life, you guys working together, you guys being loyal together, you guys being loving, very caring, very family oriented as well. Yes. And we have the chariot here. This is something that's coming towards you. Somebody feels like um, it's it, it, it just faded to happen. This is you guys that are moving forward in the same direction. And we have the Seven of Cups. I see you guys working together, coming up with so many different ideas. I feel like you once, once you guys, you know, put your heads together and come into this union, you guys are going to be just, um, you know, with this... Um, I feel like both of you guys have a very unique, um, beautiful uh, imagination that could manifest beautiful, wonderfully, um, beautiful, wonderfully things into uh, fruition. I see you guys starting a lot of new projects as well. Um, the Ten of Swords being here, I do feel like something is over, and I feel like it's something. Whatever is over is is this person's past. I'm picking up heavy on this person's past. What's the Ten of Swords? Something has is completed. What's the ten of swords, Holy Spirit? I also feel like um with the ten of swords, someone feels like um, you know, they hoping that they did you know they didn't mess things up for life. I'm here. What's the ten of swords, Holy Spirit? Yeah, the ten of swords is clarified with the two of swords. This is somebody that's constantly in their head. Because they was indecisive um, before in the past when it came to making a choice whether they wanted to, you know, um, pursue this connection with you or not. This could have been someone who had options before as well. And your person could have definitely been confused. But this person sees you as in a nine of cups. Somebody feels like, what, what, I, this is somebody that's trying to strategize, what can I do to, you know, um, bring, I heard of value, wow. Wow, spirit. What can I do to bring a value to this person that's already in the Nine of Cups life, you know, to make them choose me? This person already see you getting your wishes granted. Um, a lot of you guys are living this, you know, this luxury, you know, beautiful, um, harmonious, um, good fortune life. A lot of a blessings and abundance is showering onto you. Three of Wands because you planted your seeds. When this person wanted to leave you stagnated and confuse you and hurt you and you felt manipulated and you lie and lied to and cross, um, for a lot of you guys, spirit saying you are that five of cups in reverse. You you're not sad anymore. You picked yourself up. A lot of you guys have met somebody that's of your vibration. And someone feels like whoever this new person is, you know, they were they're very lucky. 
for others of you guys, this is how this person feels about you. This person is trying to strategize how can I come in and make things right? How? I already, when I look, when they look at you, it's like you already have everything. What can I bring of value to your life? For a lot of you guys, you guys saying, I never needed this person. I just wanted this person. I just wanted your honesty. Be sincere. Be truthful. Even if it hurt me, just be truthful. Be, be loyal to me. Even if it's not loyalty and a commitment, be loyal to our connection. Give me the right to decide if I want to stay or go. Don't just shrink me along with the hangman. Mm, I hear you, Sansi. I got your back. I hear you, baby. So this person is in their head. Give me a card on the two, another card on the two of Holy Spirit. Yeah, the magician. A lot of you guys see this person on. Um, you don't see this person the same. You just don't. But I feel like this person is definitely trying to manifest you back in. You may call it a magician. This person is trying to manifest a new beginning. I feel like a lot of you guys, um, you walked away with the Eight of Cups and the higher frame. A lot of you guys decided to walk away from, a lot of you guys were married to this person, the spirit is saying. For others of you guys, you was in just in a connection with this person. Okay, just, the, just getting things up and running. For others of you guys, you found out about a marriage, a hidden marriage. You know, you, you know your story, son. See, I'm just a messenger. Take what parts of the reading that resonates to your story. But with the Eight of Cups and the Higher Friend, a lot of you guys have walked away from this connection. A lot of you guys had a desire for more. For others of you guys, whoever your person, if your person were, if they were in the marriage, they have walked away from a karmic. Okay, who they felt like they was tied to or in a marriage towards and they just desire more. This someone that's letting it go and is traveling towards you. This person is coming in quick because their love, the queen and the king of cups of the moon, their love resides with you. You understand? This is somebody that's withdrawn from this karmic. They don't want no parts of this karmic. That's why they said, I never truly moved on, even though I appear so. So even though you're not in connection with this person, it may seem like they moved on, they did not move on, okay? You guys can be a teacher or some, some sort of a spiritual guide, um, some type of leader, okay? This person just sees you as perfect. As perfect. Wow, the hermit. They see you as perfect. Someone is a spiritual guy. Somebody's a beast. Somebody is a beast. Somebody knows what's up when it comes to you. They do. Somebody is seeing things on a higher perspective, more on the spiritual than, than, than uh, a 3D. I feel like in the past, this person looked at things more on the on the 3D. But with, with this type of connection that you guys share, you awaken something in this person. This person will do some type of awakening or ascension. They're seeing things from more of a, a spiritual, a spiritual perspective. Okay? This person knows that you're their spiritual soulmate or twin flame. They know that. They know that. There's somebody that's, you know, happy is going within and doing some type of soul searching. And they and and, and the, the things that they they the confirmation that they are getting, the things that, they, that they're coming up, they're like, I knew that was my person. I knew that. I hope I didn't ruin things. Anything else, Holy Spirit? I can't make it up. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Spirit say, yeah, yeah. The Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. Period. I mean... This person sees a marriage with you. They see the family. They see the wealth. They see building a legacy. They see having, a, you know, the established home. They see you guys doing things in the community together. This person sees that. Page of Cups. Okay? With the devil. Somebody want to apologize for being in that toxic ass energy. Two of Wands. For not making better choices. Five of Wands. Letting people in the air. Putting you in competition when we're we're never even compared. We're never even compared. The King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you could have moved on to new love and found someone of your vibration, someone who's just as successful, somebody who's who could be also a business owner, just somebody who's very stable. Could, this person could be very rich as well. 
But this is someone who's very family oriented, you know? Someone who's a good provider. A lot of you guys could have moved on because I just seen the Queen of Pentacles. A lot of you guys could have moved on from this connection. Take it how it resonates. We had the death card. So things are definitely had ended. Okay, it was definitely an ending for a transformation. Give me a card on that card. Oh, sir, please. Yeah, the fool card with the twin flame. Somebody feel like a fool. Six of Pentacles. The fool, the, the the twin flame, and a six. Of, somebody feels like a fool. Somebody feels like a damn fool for break from you. With this death card, you awaken something in your twin flame. Ace of Swords under the bottom. Spirit said that's the damn truth. I love you, Sunseeds. I hope this reading helped you guys. Yeah, Ace of Swords with the shrimp and the temperance. I can't make it up. Look at this beautiful energy. The temperance and the shrimp. This is a very, very beautiful energy. You guys are some type of alchemy where you, you transmuted that negative into a positive. You guys are very brave, strong will, very independent. Very confident as well. I feel like you guys was very patient with this person. The temperance and the strength card is a beautiful energy to be in. Beautiful. Okay?